How's it going? Hey y'all. Okay, so we're in the car. We're doing a car vlog. Um, this is in our apartment? Oh. <laughs> but I will say, okay. people really like our spoon mics. So we, <laughs> I think we're going to keep them because people really like our spoon mics. The people have spoken. And I think it sounds pretty good. I just have to remember to keep it next to me. Um, okay, so that's number one. Number two is the last couple videos. I did a video. We did a video yesterday, a normal one. But we did a few of just like, I put some clips together of the Man United game versus Arsenal. And that was really fun. The camera work for that game was so good. Um, Oscar worthy. It really was. I was watching What's a replay this? yesterday of I think the Man Man City game. The camera work. It's just I don't know who to who shoots each game, but the the Man United game was shot. They had so many close ups of the players, but they had replays and it it was just yeah. I love the close ups. Yeah, I do. I know. See what's going on. There were so many um, Tobin and Kristen close ups. There were so many a lot of Beth Mead close ups. A lot of a few Viv close ups. So yeah. what we're gonna do today? We're gonna kind of talk a little bit of the about the man united game and arsenal game and then kind of give our predictions for this weekend's games okay 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 so man united versus arsenal i watched that whole game probably twice because when i was doing the clips i kind of had to keep watching it i know you watched a little bit of it you've been yeah. working so um man united as i looked at their stats online after the game that's, it was a pretty even match. Arsenal actually even had more possession, but it was pretty even the stats wise. Um, but Man United, okay. they just look so good. Tobin and Kristen, uh, but they just look so good. They look so confident. They look so like they had a direction um, and they won. I, yeah. I, I was torn who to root for too, because you know I love Arsenal. But Tobin, you were voting for Arsenal. Tobin, you were rooting for Arsenal. Was I? <laughs> Tobin and Kristen have my heart. Like I want them to win. <laughs> um, so they they won. So Man United won. I mean that team, the Man United team. I, I want to get to know the individual players a little bit better. But yeah. they just look tough. I mean, um, one of the players got hit really hard. Um, Gronin, I think. And then Tobin and Kristen put like their healing hands over her. And yeah, and somebody commented about that too. And I go, oh, is that what it was? Because she had gotten hurt. They'd put their healing hands over her. If I can find the what clip. What does that answer. mean? They're trying to heal her with their hands. It worked. She got up. Oh. <laughs> Do you, you guys know what I'm talking about. So they had, she put her healing hands over her. Okay, what? I'm going to think about this every day for the rest of my life. What? So she was hurt. So they okay. go, they both put a hand on her to get better. You know how your mom prays for us any any time and she does a prayer? The same kind of idea. I can't accept this. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> so she got her, she went down. But that team is tough. Casey Stoney, I would not want to get in a fight with her. She yeah. would be, she would, she, she's not messing around. Um, but they look great. So they won. I'm happy. They're going to play this weekend as well. We're going to get to that in one second. Mm -hmm. But the other games that played on, the other ones that we kind of care about, Chelsea and Everton, it was 4-0 Chelsea to Everton. Um, nice. So Everton took that day off. Remember we talked about oh, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it didn't help them because they still, they still got, yeah. they, they lost. But I will say that um, um, most, a few people commented and they said they they didn't think Everton had any like, they weren't being sneaky or anything. Nothing sus going Nothing on. Nothing sus. And I kind of said, yeah, no, I agree. I think the number one thing about the them playing is the safety of the women. Uh, yeah. But they're like, no, no, I swear, Everton, Everton's on the up and up. And I believe that because... Okay, so Everton, they weren't being sneaky. But I will say... Um, Were they being cheeky, though? Cheeky. Oh, and then going back to the Arsenal game, some people didn't think Viv looked her best. Um, but I think it was just because of... Man the United socks. playing so good. The socks, no, oh. She didn't look good. But apparently Jordan Nobbs, she's back. She was injured. Now mm, she's back. So good. we'll see if she plays this weekend. Um, but that was an exciting game. Okay. So, and the Man City played last weekend against Bristol, which I believe Bristol City is not very good. I think they're at the very bottom of the, the ladder. But yeah. it was 8-1. Man City. Oh, uh, dear. Lucy scored. Kira yeah, Wall scored. Yeah. Lucy doesn't score a lot of goals. And a bunch of other people scored. And I think I was like watching that game and I just wanted to kind of look at it. Oh. And that game. Just in case. Yeah, no, that game, the camera work I think was pretty bad. From the replay, mm. I saw the camera work. There wasn't, yeah. it wasn't like the Man United Arsenal game. But, right. but Man City, they won eight to one. That's always a good feeling. I mean, they won the FA Cup. They won the Midwick game, I believe. And then they won. 
So they're winners. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the games that are going to happen this week. So this this video might be our predictions. What we think are, are going to happen. Okay. Okay. So this week, the games that we would we would watch or we would kind of care about, we care about them all. But you guys know what we're talking about. Okay. It's the Derby, Man City, Man United, on Saturday. What do you think? What is your prediction? Like, what is your prediction? I think Man City's gonna win. You know, but I want Man United to win. Yeah, I know. I hundred percent want uh, Man, Man United, United to win. But do I think Man City is gonna win? They've been playing so well. Oh, okay. Then well, if you, it could be a close game. Well, okay, score. What do you think the score is gonna be? Two one. Two one. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. I think I think it's not gonna be a high scoring game because I think their defenses are really good. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't been following as much as you have. Yeah. Been, so, what's your prediction? Okay. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it'll be kind of close. Yeah. Maybe one or two points. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna be a high scoring difference. game. I think it's gonna be two one. Is that what your prediction was? Yeah. Two one. You Man United or three two Man United? You think Man United is gonna win? You mean Man City? No, I think Man United is gonna win. Oh. Yeah, you're saying Man City. I'm saying Man United is gonna win. Yeah. Okay. I think Tobin and Kristen have just been looking so good. Let's bet something. They have the fire, but Man City's so good. And I want Sammy to score, and I want Kristen to score, and I want Tobin to score. All the American girls. <laughs> is that bad to say? Um, okay. So anything. And then the other, and then Arsenal Chelsea is gonna play. Mm. Arsenal will win. You think Arsenal will win? Yeah. Oh. I think Arsenal will win. Yeah. Um, I want them to I win. Want them. So no. I want Arsenal to win. Do I think they're going to win? I think I think there's a possibility they might not win, but I want them to win. Catching orbs. <laughs> but I want them to win. And I yeah. think it's going to be, I think it's going to be like 3-1 Arsenal. I don't know yeah. why I'm thinking that. But Jordan apparently is back, and we'll yeah. see. She'll probably get playing time if she's back. She probably won't start, but she's back. So we'll see. I want Arsenal to win. I don't think. Oh gosh, if they lose two games in a row, I don't think. You know, gosh, you you know you know the way Viv looks on the field, like always, like angry, upset, annoyed. She's yeah. really gonna look angry, upset, annoyed. Mm -hmm. Glasses are falling down. So that's the the weekend that games that are kind of come up. We're gonna watch them. Um. Also with that, nothing official has been announced about the friendly against the Netherlands yet. The Netties. Yeah, yeah. that's going to happen as we're filming this. It's not official official. At least I haven't seen it that it's official official. If it is, I'll put no. a voiceover in. But um, people are really excited for that to happen. Mm -hmm. um, I know. And I, I kind of keep telling people in the comment section that I think the Netherlands, if they, that does happen, they have a pretty good chance of winning. And as much as I don't want yeah. the United States to lose, I would, I would be okay-ish with them well, winning. Well, they haven't been training as much as other countries. Exactly. So they're already beh behind, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's going to be interesting to see who gets called to the training camp, who was at the first training camp, who doesn't mm -hmm. make it to the second training camp. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, who who Who's makes been... it? Yeah. And Snaid. is Carly still injured? Mal's still injured, but is Carly still injured? Is Julie going to be there? And he's doing better. Is it? She yeah. let me know. <laughs> she let you know. So that will be an interesting situation as well. And if, mm -hmm. like, are Tobin and Kristen going to start the friendly? They should. They have the most have the most chemistry right now on the field because they've been playing so much. Yeah. So will they start? Will Vladko say, Kristen and Tobin, you start? Or will he want to give the other players who haven't played as much more playing time since it's yeah. a friendly? We'll see. Also, the last thing we'll talk about is Megan Rapinoe's book came out on the 10th. Ooh. And we are gonna get it. It'll be our, our bedtime stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. We'll, be we'll read it. We'll get, somebody had left a comment that the one revelation so far that's come out in the book that uh, Megan officially admits to her and Abby while back were officially dated. <gasps> yeah, I know. <laughs> she officially dated. <laughs> so we're we're gonna as those more tidbits wow. come out about the book, we're gonna maybe make another video about it. But that is like the one thing that kind of just Who we heard so far. Well, we're gonna have to read the book and find out. Wow. On the I team. I know all the lovers. All the details or all the, the secrets. Also, her and Abby, that's like a lot of energy there. Yeah. I think they're too similar. But that is a lot of energy. Um, so it's interesting to hear those little tidbits that those are the things yeah. I love. You know what I mean? We love tea. So we're gonna get that is book. That tea? Yeah, but that is an interesting Dogs. couple. Like, we've always heard rumors about it that they dated, yeah. but until you could they confirm it, confirm it, it's almost like it didn't happen. Mm. But that happened. Yeah. It's an interesting couple. <sighs> Yep. But they're, you know, the thing about Pino that I love, 
is that she is so trail breaking, groundbreaking, trail trailblazing. Trail trail <laughs> she could do anything or date anyone or be with anyone or wear anything or have any view. You know what I mean? She can do anything. She yeah. can do anything and it's not, it's her. You know what I mean? That's like when we talk about what they're going to wear to their weddings and stuff, her and Sue, that literally I could see her in pretty much anything. Yeah. You know, um, what do you guys think? Did you guys hear that? What do you guys think about the games this weekend? What did you think about the game last weekend? Do you guys think anything about the Netherlands um, game? Anything? Yeah. Um, questions, comments down below. What do you guys think? We'll be back in our normal location with our spoon mics next week. <laughs> spoon mics. <laughs> Look out for that. And we will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>